Earlier this week, we posted a video about the new scaleless rat slash corn snakes and that we're still really excited over, but there were two eggs that did not hatch in that clutch, and several of you expressed interest in finding out what was inside of those eggs. Well, at this point, we know that they are not going to hatch, so it's not going to hurt anything to open them up and see what's inside. <music> Now, I should give you a heads up that this is a type of dissection, I suppose, so it might look kind of gross, so if you are uneasy with things of that nature, then I suggest maybe not watching this video, but I really want to know what's inside. I think it'll be educational, but viewer discretion is advised. Here are the eggs, and I think... <gasps> Whoa. Oh, ew. I see what that is. I saw movement in this one. Maggots? Maggots. I thought it was like a snake moving maybe, but oh, that is gross. Ugh. Okay, well, let's open her up. Ew, maggots on the side. How did those even get in there? I mean, this hasn't been exposed to anything. There was a gnat in there, I remember. There was, oh, there was one gnat. I guess that's all it takes. Now these have been isolated from the babies, of course, for several days now. And uh, we just left them in there to see what would happen, but oh, maggots, that is disgusting. All right, well, I don't have to be gentle with this at all. We know it's uh, not alive. Ew. It's like pink slime goop. I should probably be wearing gloves now that I think of it. But you want gloves? Ugh. Too late now. We're too far. Wow. What is this? Is that? I think that's just part of the nutrients in there, maybe. Oh, you are ripe. You smell too. It looks like there's not even a snake in this. It's just a massive, I don't even know what that is. And it's maggots. Congealed fluid. Congealed fluid. That's a good way to put it. So that one is, we're going to say that one's done. All right, let's see what's in the next egg. Oh, more maggots. Lovely. This might be kind of the same thing. Oh, I think this was the egg that we kind of saw a whitish colored fetus in there. So let's see what he looks like if he hasn't been like broken down or something. All right, what do we have in here? Okay, so we have a snake. Oh, he like barely developed. There's not much there. So I bet we can't even tell if he was scaleless or not because there's not much there and the scales are one of the last things to develop. So it's hard to tell exactly what it was. There isn't any color. It looks like whatever else is left in here is just the nutrients that have solidified. It almost looks like fat actually, like congealed fat. Lovely. This is totally going to get age restricted, isn't it? Oh yeah. Yeah, he's just really little so he did not uh, develop very far before he stopped for whatever reason and sometimes you just don't know what causes this to happen it can be genetics it can just be bad luck and in this case I think it was just bad luck because the other babies were just fine but there we go now we know it was inside so that uh, I'm gonna hold my hand out because it's it was touching that um, but there you have it we had one that didn't even seem to develop and another that partially developed but then for some reason or another, didn't complete development and hatch. But yeah, there we go. I don't really know what else to say. There's not really much else to say. All right, we'll see you later.